What's good everyone? Today we're gonna to have a look at how to trace over a photo in Procreate. First of all, why would we wanna do this? There's so many different areas this can be very, very useful. Recently, my wife and I were trying to decide on the layout of our living room and I was able to take a photo of the living room and trace over the top with the couch in a different location, photos on the walls in different areas, but also maybe you have a reference that you wanna use. Maybe you like the angle of a face and you wanna build a tattoo design around that but you wanna be very specific. So you do wanna take those uh, basic proportions of that face and then get rid of the photo underneath and create a fully fledged design over the top. Again, there are so many areas this is very, very useful. So today let's jump in and have a look at how to do this method. All right, we're inside Procreate. First thing we wanna do is we wanna create a new canvas. We're gonna tap on the little plus icon and let's just hit A4. All right, now that we're inside our canvas, it's very simple to get a photo in there. I suggest you have one ready to go. You could take a photo with the iPad, but let's have a look at inserting a photo uh, from one that's already in our photo library. We're gonna tap on the actions tab at the top there, and then you've got a few options here. You could insert a file, insert a photo, you could take a photo, or you could add text as well. The one we're gonna look at right now is inserting a photo. I won't do it, I've already inserted a photo in here, but when you tap on insert a photo, it will bring up your photo library and you'll be able to select from that. And simply select the photo you want and then press done. Once that's done, as you can see here, I've already imported one, a very cool half skull. I really like this angle. So as you can see in my layers panel, all I have is one layer at the moment, layer one and that's the skull. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rename that if you've watched my channel, you know that I love renaming my layers. I think it's a great way to maximize your workflow and efficiency. All you have to do from there is hit the little plus icon and we have a new layer over the top. This is the same as if you had a photo in real life and you wanted to trace over the top, but you didn't want to damage that photo. This is what you'd be doing if you put a piece of tracing paper over the top. So very similar to that. We are going to rename this and let's call this trace. Now we could do it like this. That's fine. But what I like to do, and I think is a really effective way of working, is to tap back on skull, hit the little N, and drop that opacity down, maybe to about 50%. Beautiful. Now, let's tap back on trace, the layer above. We definitely wanna have that layer selected. We don't wanna draw on the wrong layer. And it's all about selecting the right pencil, pen, whichever brush you wanna use. I'm going to use my trusty 6B pencil, I love that. And I'm gonna keep it in this dark red color. I think it creates a nice contrast over the top. And then we can just simply go ahead and start drawing. And the best thing is when we lay a line down and tap back on the layers panel, it's on its own separate layer. This is great. Let's go ahead and trace the whole piece and we'll be back in a sec. And there we have it. Nice, simple outline of this skull done. I haven't worried about being too perfect with this. That's not the point. Again, I've, I've decided to change a few little bits here and there. Uh, that's the whole point of this. We don't have to copy it exactly. We can use it as reference. Uh, and then all we have to do, once we're happy with that, tap back on our layers panel and we can tick the little checkbox there on the original skull image that we inserted. And then we have our nice trace outline left. This is a great way to learn to draw as well. If you do wanna to learn to draw a certain object, you can really understand proportions and get your muscle memory familiar with that by doing it over and over and over again. Or as I said, maybe you just are really stuck on a piece of your drawing and you need uh, to get the proportions exactly right. And maybe you do wanna go ahead and use this uh, in a design or as reference for something. Um, this is a great technique. But as I said, it's very, very versatile. You can go out and take photos of walls and sketch what paintings might look like in the end. You can place furniture into rooms. Uh, you can do so much with this technique. So get out there, give it a go. I think you'll really love it. And I'll catch you in the next video.